What's up folks, Dr. Grizz here with another beer and vape pairing. And look, I got new lighting guys. Isn't that nice? I still gotta work on getting rid of that thing. Sometime. But we're about to do a beer and vape pairing. And of course, we're gonna do a shot of whiskey first. Always gotta do a shot of whiskey first. And I still got, I'm still working on that bottle of uh, Larceny. Larceny Kentucky Bourbon. Yeah. I'm gonna do it in this one. Last time I forgot to bring the the glass over so I didn't have anything to pour it into so I did it straight out the bottle and it was delicious so let's try it out of the actually I have, I've been kind of nipping on it here and there so I already know it's good uh, this is actually uh, this is probably one of the best bourbons I've had in a long time like I I think this is better than uh, than the maker's mark I think this is better than the maker's mark oh yeah, that's good. Like, it doesn't even need a chaser. But I'm going to give it anyone. One, anyway. I'm going to give it anyone. I'm going to give it one anyways. Yeah, butterscotch tobacco. Mm-hmm. Which, that's good. All right, so what are we pairing today, guys? So, uh, about two months ago, in December, during all that craziness, when I was doing all sorts of, I was doing a beer every day, one of the beers we did was called Mainer Wees by, what was it, Night Shift, by Night Shift Brewing. I believe it's a collaboration beer, but I'm not sure. Uh, Night Shift Brewing, I, we did the Mainer Wees, which was a a uh, a sour, a mixed fermentation sour with, fermented with lactobacillus and with blueberries and cinnamon. And that was fucking weird. And I, if I remember correctly, the the winner for juice pairing for that was the banana, the banana cream pie. Like it kind of made me think of like like fruit punch and like a pie, like a banana. Like I was having punch and pie as a kid, like almost like that. Like that was kind of the the. Uh, it was like a a throwback for me. Like brought me back to being a kid and being like, yeah, punch and pie. It's fucking awesome, and it was awesome. But today we have another one. It's in their sour line. It's Night Shift Bre Brewing. It's in their sour line. It's Briar Weiss, the Briar Weiss, uh, mixed fermentation sour ale with blackberries and lemon peel. So. I have not tried this yet, folks. I'm expecting this to be tart as fuck. Like, super tart. Like, super tart. And I'm kind of excited for that. Uh, and yes, this one is using lactobacillus and brewer's yeast. So, that's what they mean by mixed fermentation. They're using two different kinds of fermenters. So, uh, yeast is a microbial. And uh, lactobacillus is a bacteria that consumes sh uh, uh, lactose sugar. So in order for this to work, that means they had to put lactose sugar in it, in it, in it to and brewer's yeast with lactobacillus. Otherwise, the lactobacillus would have nothing to consume. It it literally consumes lactose sugar. So it, it, that's what they mean by a mixed fermentation. Just just a little fucking knowledge for you guys. Yeah, that, that's why uh, I tell people just because it it says uh uh. Uh, milkshake on it, like a milkshake IPA, and I, I even saw a milkshake porter recently, um, and it says lactose. Well, in order for lactose to do something, they have to add lactobacillus to it, because brewer's yeast will not consume lactose. It just won't. It, it's too complex of a sugar for brewers used to consume so they have to use lactobacillus so if you look if you're looking at a brew that either says it has lactose in it or lactobacillus the final product should not have lactose in it so if you're lactose intolerant and you're looking at these beers and you're like i can't do that because i'll be farting my ass off no no you aren't unless the brewer fucked up entirely like, if the brewer did something, a big no-no, and didn't do it right, there should be no lactose sugar left in the final product. Because it has been consumed 
by a microbial, which produces alcohol and gases. That's how beers made, guys. Yeah. Look it up. If you don't fuck Google that shit, motherfuckers. You know? <laughs> shit. Let's do a pour. In case y'all didn't know, I'm wearing my fucking Bruins. We're going for a fucking Stanley Cup this year. Damn right. I got my nice Vanish Valley glass. Looks like it's got... I don't know. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing that blackberry color right right away. Like, it's got a nice blackberry color. It's almost purple. Or like a... A maroon, almost? Or plum. There you go. Red plum skin. Like a red plum. And it's pouring a decent head on it, too. Which I'm not used to with, um... With sours. Most sours, especially especially gozes, don't really pour a thick head. And as you can see, as it's coming down, it should come down quickly. Like, the head on a sour should come down quickly, if there's a lot of head at all. And it's very rocky, so, like, uh, that, that tells me that the, the carbonation in this is natural. It's not forced carbonation. Forced carbonation, all the bubbles would be kind of the same size and shape and stick around and it wouldn't, it, it shouldn't, like, forced carbonation won't really lace on the glass, if you get what I'm saying. So, let's give it a taste. This almost looks like grape juice. <laughs> just, just seriously, it looks like grape juice. Or, um, what's that shit the, that made from pomegranate? Palm? Like, the palm, like, like health drink like you know what i'm talking about it's got a little heart on it superfood or whatever it is it kind of reminds me of that Ooh, i haven't even drank yet i'm already burping <laughs> there's a little delay on that tart <laughs> on that tart punch a little delay on that. It's sweet at first. It is sweet at first. And then like a couple seconds down the road, it's just like, here's some fucking tart for you, motherfucker. Here's some tartness, you tarty bitch. Hell yeah. Yeah, this shit's, this shit's dope. It's fucking sour as fuck. It's smooth. It's, like, super smooth. Like, I, uh, like, I ha I'm having a difficult time describing this one because there's so many flavors going on in my mind right now. It's not just blackberries and le lemons. Like, I'm getting a whole array of different fruits right here. I'm having a fucking sour fruit salad right now. There's, I'm, I'm talking, there's some cherries in there, there's some black currants, there's some, like, th those, the fla flavor profiles for those things are in this. I'm almost afraid to vape with it, but <laughs> vape we shall, because that's why we're here. So, butterscotch uh, reserve. It's a uh, butterscotch vanilla and sweet tobacco. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. It's kind of like a tart scone. Or scones, as the palms would say. Scones, scones, as the palms would say, and the bonzes too. Yeah, this is uh, that's what I'm getting. Like, if you took a scone and put like raspberries in it, like scones with raspberries, it did this. This is giving it kind of a biscuity, 
note to it. And I think that's because of the vanilla that's in with the butterscotch. And on the linger on the end of it, it kind of tones down that sour punch. It kind of smooths it a little bit towards the end and it gives it like a like a candy sweetness, like a candied candied fruit sweetness. On the second run on that, the vanilla came out a little more. I think it's because I was expecting it, and it helped. Like, it helps in the front. Yeah, I, I dig that. It's definitely scone, a little bit biscuity, like tart berry, like almost like a, um, what is that? A, like, a, like a berry chutney, like on a scone. Imagine that with a little whipped cream, a little vanilla whipped cream. I just had dessert. Like, I just had a nice bite of, of a new dessert that nobody's ever invented. It was fucking good. Ooh. Burping while inhaling vapes is not a good idea. So what I'm going to try next is uh, I got the, um, the smoothie, which is a strawberry apple raspberry. Strawberry apple raspberry. Let's give that one a go. Strawberry and apple really went well, well with this. I'm not good. Well, that's because this this has like a blackberry, so maybe I'm losing the the raspberry with that. But that combination of the the strawberry and apple actually is bringing up the lemon a little bit on the back end. I'm tasting the lemon more now. Yeah, the strawberry. Strawberry helped this out. Made it like a fruit pie. Without without the crust. But the, the apple part of it is m making a contrast with the lemon that's in this, the lemon peel. And I'm, I'm tasting more of that now. I'm tasting more of that now. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Uh, what else do I got? Mm, I got my new baby right here. A new one right here. It's got that uh, happiness from Dawn of Hope. Happiness from Dawn of Hope in my new Gear RTA on top of the Aegis Mini. Looking pretty dope. Looking all matchy matchy. Isn't that nice? And that's uh, Cactus Fruit and Pear. I gotta tinker with this a little more. It's not really wicking right. Right, I'm getting plenty of flavor off of it, but it's it's like there's a choke on it. Hold on. Little trick for you guys: close off the airflow, give it a suck, then hit it. Let's try that again. Getting more of the pear. The cactus fruit kind of gets lost in this, but cactus fruit is very subtle anyways. Yeah, it's all right, but I wouldn't seek this one out. I wouldn't seek out this combination. It's all right. Like, this on its own is fucking great. Like, I like this. This this atomizer, the fucking gear RTA. If you don't have one, get one. They're like 30 bucks. Cheap enough to buy just to try. You can put it on just about anything. I mean, I got it on age mini. Super easy to build. Super easy to wick. Though I do have to tinker with it a little bit. This is my first build on it. And it's working. It just, sometimes it's, I get a little dry hit on it and I shouldn't. Otherwise it's good. But with this, I wouldn't recommend the cactus, uh, the cactus fruit in pear. That would not be my go-to. So right, right now, oh, you know, I, I, 
I was I usually only do three, but I think I'm gonna try this because um I I got this in the same order as the BTFC. And at first I fucking hated it. I hated it because it was harsh as fuck. I've been letting this steep and I have a whole other bottle of it. I've been letting this steep since I got that four months ago. And the other day just 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 because I was like I don't wanna throw away all this juice. I went ahead and put a fresh, uh, fresh wicking in the uh, rebirth, the Mike Vapes rebirth, uh, which is rocking an Ultim tip now because I broke the fucking resin tip that came with it, which made me very sad and a little angry. And um, I tried this. I tried the mango in it, and it seems a little smoother now after four months of uh, steeping. Which is kind of weird because usually fruit flavored juices you don't need to steep. It's usually uh, desserts and custards that you need to steep. This one, it's a, it's just a straight up mango, I think. Mango, mango berry. It's a mango berry, but if you don't steep it, it's fucking so harsh. But now it's, it's not harsh, and I can taste the fucking mango like as it should be. Let's see how it goes with this. Mmm. Yeah, the mango added another dimension to it. I'm tasting a lot more of the lemon now. I don't know if it's the the, the vapes I'm going to bring up the lemon. Or the fact that I've been sipping on it for a while. And now my, my tongue is used to the blackberry. That I'm tasting more of the lemon. But I am absolutely tasting more lemon now. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying that quite a bit. That was nice. But as good as that was... As good as that was, I think the winner here, guys, is still the Butterscotch Reserve. The Butterscotch Reserve. That vanilla did something to this that's magical. That's definitely the winner. So, hey. Stop smoking shit that tastes like ass. Start vaping shit like what I just did. Try not to take as long as I did to do it. I don't know. I'm not as fast today as usual. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> stop smoking shit that tastes like ass. Start vaping shit like what I just did. Pair it with some interesting, delicious beers. Because life's too short to drink shitty beer. And smoke shitty cigarettes, which are going to make your life even shorter. See you guys.